For patients who don't undergo brain surgery, radiation therapy is the main treatment for brain metastases. There are two ways to deliver radiation for brain metastases, whole brain radiation or stereotactic radiation. To illustrate the difference between the two techniques, let's consider two different patients with identical brain metastases. The patient on the left undergoes whole brain radiation, and the green border around the brain represents the edges of the radiation field. As the name suggests, with this treatment, the entire brain is covered with radiation. Whole brain radiation is a very good standard of care treatment for patients with many brain metastases. It's also a good treatment for patients who have a high risk of harboring small, microscopic bits of tumor cells that are not yet seen on MRI at the time of treatment. Whole brain radiation is typically delivered over 10 treatment days spanning over two weeks in 10-minute treatments per day. The risks and side effects of whole brain radiation include hair loss, fatigue, headaches, swelling, possible need for steroid treatment, nausea and vomiting, and a long-term risk of memory loss or slowing of cognitive processes. Whole brain radiation can be very effective at completely destroying small metastatic deposits in the brain and shrinking larger tumors in the brain. Now let's turn our attention to the patient on the right. Stereotactic radiation for brain metastasis is much more focused. A very high dose of radiation is delivered to the metastatic lesion with a very small margin around it. Most of the rest of the brain is spared the high dose of radiation. The treatment is usually delivered over one to five days. It is a standard of care treatment for patients with a few number of brain metastases. However, some studies suggest that this is also a good treatment for patients with up to 10 brain metastases. Stereotactic radiation for brain metastases can cause fatigue, swelling, need for steroids, headaches, nausea or vomiting, and a long-term risk of a condition called radiation necrosis or a treatment effect related to the radiation therapy. Stereotactic radiation tends to be very effective at destroying the targeted lesions. It also comes with the benefit of sparing patients the late effects related to memory loss that are seen with whole brain radiation. However, a downside risk to stereotactic radiation is that it is not treating other parts of the brain, so there is a chance that other small lesions can show up on subsequent MRIs, which are typically done every three months after completing therapy. Depending on the size, number, and location of subsequent metastases, many times these can also be treated down the road with stereotactic radiation. This is not medical advice. Talk to your doctor before making a medical decision.